Alright, what's up everybody? Today we're going to do part two of my very small PlayStation collection. We already looked through this stack in part one and we're going to go through here now in part two. And as I said before, I don't have much in here that's, you know, that rare. So if you're just, you know, hoping I'm going to flip through and pull out a thousand dollar game or something, it ain't happening. But um, we'll start out with volume two of Jam Pack from PlayStation Underground. And this is very cool to me because it has a demo. Let's see. There's the demos that are on here. Hopefully you can read that. And it has Intelligent Cube, which I never could find the game back then in you know, any of the stores. And I really liked playing it on this demo. And now that's turned out to be a game that is kind of rare. And I wish I'd have been able to find it back then, but... Because I'd love to have that game now, but I, I wouldn't pay, you know, what it's going for on eBay. But it is a fun game. And there is the back with, you see, Parappa. And, you know, some other scenes from other games on there. Oh, here you go. Yeah, that's it. Intelligent Cube right here. See if I can get a good shot of that. It is a really neat game. And we have next Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And no disc. So that must be in my player or in another case. So we will see no disc for Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And there is the back. And we have Cool Borders 3. And there is the disc. And apparently Cool Borders 4 was out then. And Tiger Woods 99. I really love uh, golf games and like bowling, billiards, that kind of stuff. For whatever reason, those games are just always fun to me. And there is the disc. Back of the booklet with an ad for NASCAR 99. And the back of the case. And this is a fun game. All the Tiger Woods games were, you know, some of the better golf games. MLB 98. And there is the disc. And the back of the booklet. And the back of the case. You know, it's weird to me how these old sport sports games have no value, but I like them because, you know, it's nostalgic and it brings back the memories of, you know, okay, who was on, you know, what team at that year you can play with that roster it's pretty cool here's one I got at Goodwill and this is Blues Big Musical and there is the case is cracked there is Blues Big Musical Big Musical Movie huh on the cover it says Blues Big Musical and on here it says Blues, big musical movie. Never noticed that. And there is the back of the booklet. And the back of the case. And you know, I'll get new jewel cases one day eventually for all these and replace them. And these next two should be one. Star Wars Rebel Assault 
these came in you know the two disc case but I guess it got broke so I put them in single cases and there is the disc art and the back of the booklet and the back of the case So this one, the booklet's already in that one. So we'll just look at the disc. And here is the Dukes of Hazard uh, 2, Daisy Dukes It Out. And I do have the first one of this, but not on hand. And these, along with Tony Hawk and Resident Evil, were probably some of my favorite games on the system. There is the disc, back of the booklet, and the back of the case. Okay, and next, all I have for today is, these were the very first games I bought. And I bought these, you know, at the launch of the system. So these were, you know, these were the first games I ever bought for PlayStation. And this is uh, Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits. And uh, let's see, what does it have on here? It has Joust, Sinistar, Bubbles, Defender 2, Defender, and Robotron. Now, what's cool about this is. Um, this has like interviews with the creators of all these games so you know you could go in and just watch you know tons of little sit down clips of them talking which at the time that was super neat to me because I always got excited you know when they had a little clip of you know two or three seconds of video on a Super Nintendo game and uh, you know, it was basically like a little GIF, and uh, that was <laughs> so neat to me to see that. And then we have PlayStation, uh, Top Gun, Fire at Will, and this is like a full motion game, full motion video game. Lots of cutscenes with you know, I can't think of the guy's name in the movie, the bald, the guy that was the. Uh, Principal and Back to the Future. He's all throughout this. And uh, it's very cool. It's fun and it's challenging and it's kind of frustrating, but it's not a bad game. And I don't know how well you can see that, but these boxes are a little bigger and straining my small space that I have on this table. So, and the last one is called Darkstalkers the Night Warriors, which is a Capcom fighting game. And uh, it's kind of like, uh, I guess, Street Fighter, but it's not as good. And this is the one where I was like, all right, I'm not buying any more blind games because I really thought this would be awesome. And it just wasn't that great to me, so... And again, I'm sorry if you can't really see that very well. I do have limitations here in my space that I have. And this is a much bigger box than a regular CD jewel case. Alright everybody, I thank you for watching. And uh, I probably have another... I have enough games to do another couple of parts, but... Um, I don't have it on hand. It's all packed up and in boxes, so... When I do dig that out, I will do part three of my small PlayStation collection. So thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.